In this video, I'm going to teach you how to market KDP books on Pinterest for free. So if you're into KDP publishing, and you know how important it is to make sales and to get free publishing or free marketing for your book. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa and welcome to the I Am channel. In this video, let's go on. Let's go straight to my dashboard. But if you are new to this, please subscribe to this channel or like this channel or comment on this channel and this will help me also rank more google for uh, youtube and other platforms for people to see more of my videos so if i'm adding value to you please just add subscribe and share to your facebook groups or any group or any type of marketing you can do to help but let's go to my dashboard straight to my dashboard that you see so the first thing you need to do is that you need to have a pinterest account so you can just easily create one if you don't have you don't need to pay to get a pinterest account and it's one of the biggest platforms that you can use to market your books or your website so first of all this is the platform this is pinterest just like this home you can see this is my home to pinterest so you need to learn the dynamics so all what you are seeing here are pins so they yeah, are pinned. So if I want to look, search for books, or if I go to, even if I search on Google, maybe let's say Google, google.com, and I want KDP in T, <coughs> KDP in T, yes, it's a possibility that I may get a Google pins that has a, a like a KDP interiors on Pinterest. So you can see, <clears throat> these are pins from in, uh, Pinterest. But I did the search on Google, but I'm getting the pins on what? About Pinterest. So if I click on here, you see that they are talking about pins. Someone's pins on book, low content, uh, KDP interior templates. So this is what I'm talking about. So if you are on Google or if you are on Pinterest, your product is going, likely to be found on what? Google and you get the rankings and make more sales, direct traffic to your Amazon account. So you need to have a Pinterest account, just create one if you don't. Then how do you do the marketing? So you do it through pins and boards. So a board is uh, basically where you host all your pins, right? So you can create different boards based on your niche. So you can create board for books, board for funds, board for graphics, anything that you like, you can create. And people will search online and get the form boards. So first of all, all you need to do is to have a board or create a board. So once you go on here, boom, you go, you click on your, uh, your profile picture or whatever picture you have it, you see an interface like this. So once you see an interface like this, all what this tells you is that you can start creating pins and boards. And this is how I drive traffic to my YouTube videos, to my YouTube channel, to my KDP interiors. You can see here, all these are my interiors that have, and also my net affiliate marketing products. I use this a lot. You can see my book, some of my books are here. And I use this to do half of uh, 370 pins and have like a lot of boards. First of all, what you need to do is to create a pin, a board if you are new to this. You create a board and that is simple. So we're just going to create a board based on because of this dentation. And the board is going to be Kate, amazing, uh, amazing KDP books. KDP book, or let, let's give it a niche. Maybe log books. Okay, that sounds good, log books. So you can do like this, log books. So you create. So once you create a log books, you've created a board. So they'll give you suggestions about log books that you can either put in your board and stuff. We'll do that later. But now the board is there, which is log books. Now all you need to do is to create a pin. And before you create a pin, you need your KDP, uh, your book cover, which should be in like JPEG or any other image size. So mostly we in KDP publishing low content publishing your book cover is normally in what pdf you can convert that or you can get like a jpeg option 
but if you don't have that tool, that's fine. So now I want to create a board, uh, like a pin for a book. So let's go to KDP, uh, Amazon, and search for a book. I'm just going to use anybody's book uh, for this presentation. So let's go here. This is KDP. And I'm going to, like all departments, I'm just, just going to get a book, a uh, notebook. Let's say I'm going to look for notebook. So I'm just searching for notebook. And any lucky person will get, it might be your book. You the one watching, it might be your book that I'm using to do them market. So I'm looking for a book, <clears throat> it's too simple. Since the niche is about log books, let's just pick this book. I saw another one book like that. So I'm just, so you need to search for your book. So maybe if you have published your book, your own book, you just search for it on Amazon and you use that to do that presentation. So I'm going to pick this book. I'm just going to use this book for presentation sake. I'm going to like pin this book for more people to see and buy this book. So it's not my book, but you can use, just you need to you do, use your books to do that. So if you don't have your cover, sometimes because of the, because the designers may not give you your cover or you don't have access to your covers again, most of my covers have deleted them. So all you need to do is right click on the cover page and save as an image. So once you save as an image, you can name it anyhow notebook and know where it will land. So it's going to be on the desktop. You just save it, notebook and it's on the desktop. So now what you need to also, also do to market this pin is that you need the website address of the book. So you need a website address of your book, you pick it up, you go on to Pinterest, and you start to create your board, your pin, you already have a board. You can create a board once you want to create a pin or you may already have pre-saved boards. So you create a pin. So now this is, how it looks like if you are creating a pin to market your book. So here, mostly, this is the title of your pin. This is the title of your, your pin. So what will people type in to discover your pin? So from the beginning, you may just use Amazon to do that. You may just use that pin, the title of the book here, maybe to just give you that guarantee. Then you pick the website, which is important. So you come back here, you click on drag and drop, even though the image is not the standard, uh, not a standard interest image, but it still get discover discoverable. So you just put that image, the image we saved first here. Yeah? Then you put the website, that's the destination website on the book. So this is what people will type in, uh, click on to get to your Amazon store and buy this book. So what you need to do is that you need to maximize all the keywords. The important thing is to be discoverable or to be discovered is the keywords that you use. So if you have a keyword that you already used or the keywords you already used to publish your book in the seven backend keywords, you can bring them here and add them to your description here. So it's pretty like the same like Amazon. So here you can put in notebook, book or you can add like Amazon notebook so that people will find it it's not the standard but Amazon notebook anything that people can find or like once they type in this they can find your book you can type it in then the description you can put in a vintage composition notebook like you can put in this description the second uh, subtitle on your description so what this book about is about so it's a vintage rainbow composition notebook so here you can also put composition notebook since that is the description of it composition notebook so that people can easily find this on google so this is the book to buy you can add some spice to it buy this this vintage rainbow composition notebook and we ask these pages so here that's where the magic also happens. You can put in some keywords, uh, like keywords actually. So maybe let's say notebook. Then you put composition notebook. Notebook. Or you put in like anything that comes to your mind, KDP. 
ABP publishing, publishing. So journals like logbooks. You can keep on putting until you, you are able to like, exhaust all. You also have like limits of 500 uh, words that you, you can put in here or characters. So once you put in your description, because it's not my book, I may not spend all the time uh, marketing someone's book too much, but this will also help him. And you can do this for anybody. Then you come here, so you see save. So you come here on top, you check for all the boards you have. So you can see these are all the boards I have that I'm going to work on. So these are all the boards I have. So lovely fonts, line notebook interiors, I already have board like that. But we created one board, I'm looking for it, but I can't find it now. So I can create a new board and put that it in it. Or I just use the already existing boards to put in the book. So I put it in my line notebook journal boards. Then I do save, as simple as it is. Once you save it, this is discoverable on Google, right? It appears on Google SEO based on the description we've put in, and also appears on what? On uh, uh, Pinterest. So Pinterest is a big opportunity for you to use. If you're not using it, you are missing out. You can use it for your website and all those stuff. So once we save it, it's now on Pinterest. People can find this book on Pinterest. They can find it on Google. So let's see how it looks like on Pinterest. So this is how it looks like on Pinterest. You can see the book. It's already here, right? So this book is already here. You can see it. It's already published. It's already published here. This is the book. You can see it. This is it. How beautiful will it be? Now it's discoverable. So once someone clicks on it, it takes the person straight to what? Your Amazon, the Amazon dashboard for the person to buy. No long talk. So I'm gonna click on it, and it's go just going to take me straight to the Amazon, da Amazon da dashboard for me to buy the book if I want to buy it. You can see straight, it comes to the Amazon da the dashboard. How beautiful will it be for you to have knowledge like this? So if you are doing ads and you're not seeing top, you are doing all, you're not seeing top, please start using Pinterest. But the caveat is that this is not a short-term medium. It's not a short-term uh, goal. This is a long-term goal. So you may start doing it, you may not get sales immediately, but in the third month, I'm telling you, the sales will pick up. I've tried and tested this. You can see I have a lot of bots, and I'm telling you this. I don't want anything from you. I only need you to succeed for me. And that's all, the only thing I want from you. Succeed for me. And once you succeed, one day you call on me and say, oh, I watched your video and that has helped me a lot. And thank, thank you and you can donate anything to me. That is later. But for now, I just want you to succeed. So concentrate on this and succeed. So once you do that, it just goes straight. You can search for this and start seeing that on your Pinterest. People will search for it. And a lot of people, over 30 billion people use Pinterest. 30 million, sorry, over like the, the statistics, like 1 billion and above, like 30 million people use Pinterest daily, right? So once people are on Pinterest, and that's what I want, once people are there, I want to also be found. So you can actually do that and create more opportunities for you yourself to do that. So there's, that's the first way you can do it. You can also still do this on Canva. Can do this on Canva. But I'm not going to do much of that. You can do do this on Canva. Go to Canva. You can type in Pinterest. Once you type in Pinterest, it has pre-made templates with the image size of Pinterest. You can just use. You can see these are the image sizes of Pinterest. This is the recommended image sizes, but you can still use your normal images, your book covers to do that. No problem. You can see. So we're going to pick one of this. I'm just going to use that to do so maybe this uh, we're talking about notebook i'm just going to create a dummy notebook uh, simple notebook cover which we are going to use for our pinterest marketing so maybe you, your notebook is like this and sorry so this is what i want you to do learn to create simple no, uh, interiors or cover pages. so i'm going to create a notebook uh, cover now right now within some few minutes just give me some time I'm just going to create a Facebook cover, a notebook. so notebook. 
So this is a notebook cover. I drag it to the middle, make sure it positions in the middle. I give it a face lift notebook. I don't want this text. I normally use, uh, let me see, Anton. Anton is one of the best for me, okay, but this is, I don't like that. Let me use Barbara. So I'm using Barbara for my notebook. Simple notebook is done. And you can see this is a notebook. So if you have a notebook like this, the cover is like this, you can just easily come here. I already have boards that I have. So I click on the board. I put in the description, which is notebook, which is notebook. Then I put in uh, the other descriptions, which were like uh, ADP notebook, notebook. You can just grab this, like yeah, any description that I want. And I put in the website. The important thing is always put in the website. You can put in a website here. Uh, just grab your website somewhere here. And uh, the website, put it here and you publish it it goes straight to they are publishing so you must link your pinterest account to your canva so if you link it to your canva you just publish it goes straight to your, your pinterest you don't need to log into pinterest again you just publish that through your canva so if you are doing your covers you can after publishing your book on amazon you want to do the marketing just come on to canva and do the cover page or upload your cover page here and it's straight you can publish it straight to pinterest so I hope it helps. And with this, you can be discoverable. So you can see that almost all the big brands that you know, that like having books that are selling on Amazon, selling books, you can find that most of them are using, the technique they are using to rank on top of Amazon is what? Pinterest. They use Pinterest to rank. And all these books you can see. You can see all these coloring books. Most of them also have like Amazon accounts, which they use to market their books and services. So you can also do that. You can also do that by helping yourself learn how to do marketing using Pinterest. And this applies to your website. It applies to your affiliate blogs. Uh, it's, you can use it for your blogs. You can use it for whatever it is. This is a secret I'm telling you. Most people, if you find it on the internet, people will teach you like, do this, do this, but they don't teach you how to market your books. They only tell you to do Amazon ads. And Amazon ads too, if you don't have money, I'm telling you, it's not something that you can venture in. And see all these books, coloring books, they are marketing on, leveraging on the power of Pinterest to get seen, to get seen. So books from Etchy, books from Amazon, Amazon Mandolin coloring books. So if books from Etchy, books from different places. So these are popular books on Amazon. And you can see they are all here on Etchy. They are all here marketing their brand here on Pinterest. You can see this book is also another a popular book. I can see some popular books also that I admire. This one is one of the books I look up to. So you can see it's also like that once you open it, you click on it, it takes you straight to Amazon. So you can see this book has a lot of ratings. The BSR size is beautiful. It's great. Sales are trickling in. And you think that it is because the, the, the market is saturated. You can see BSR is A75. And the technique is that it's Pinterest. So let's all do the good work and market well using Pinterest. So you can also get your... Uh, Interiors, if you are into Amazon, public KDP publishing, go to Creative Fabrica here. You can get best interiors always to do your marketing. So this is one of the places you can get interiors. I'm going to leave the description of this, uh, the website of this, where you can get the best interiors and fonts and graphics on the description below. Thank you. Smile the like button if I've given you value. If I've added knowledge to you today, please just say yes. Say thank you. I appreciate you. Love you from Ghana.